Well, good morning and welcome to our daily Timothy Time. It's Tuesday, November 3, 2020. My name is Carl. I'm from Pure Bible Study here in Trondheim in Norway. And welcome to Bible Timeline Part 40. Can you believe it? We're 40, 40 parts into the series. The read today in the Pauline Epistles, 2 Timothy 4 to 6. And if you are also reading through the Bible in a year, I hope you are. If you aren't, it's not the end of the world. But I incite you to get involved and get reading. If you are reading the Bible through the year, Deuteronomy chapter 1 and 2 today. Right, today's topic, uh, get yourself a cup of coffee, sit down, relax, because this is in your face. This topic today, we're still dealing with the Lord Jesus Christ on the Bible timeline. Today's topic is going to step on toes. But it needs to be said, it needs to be put on the table, people need to think, of, when I say people, uh, uh, ignorant brethren, you know the biggest denomination in Christendom, as I've heard other faithful men say, and I've employed it in, in my terminology too, because it's true, the biggest denomination in Christendom is ignorant brethren. And if you are in a denominational system within the panoply of Christendom, I don't like to say it, but you've you, 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 you got to pay attention to this because this could be a turning point in your Christian life, in your sanctified life, in your growing in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you ignore today's message, you're going to be fumbling around in the dark, blindfolded, uh, uh, um, and just getting, you, you're, not going to, you're not going to grow spiritually, full stop. Right, Christ's earthly ministry was not to you and I. Those red letters in your Bible, sweetheart, are not to you. They're for the house of Israel. Come with me over to Second uh, Corinthians chapter 5, if you will. Verse 16, Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh, yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth we know him no more. What's Paul saying there? What Paul's saying there is we don't follow Christ's earthly ministry. That's not to us. It's for us and for our learning, yes, but it's not doctrinally to us. Come with me over to Romans, if you will. Romans 15 verse 8. Let's, let, let's, uh, let's read some more. Romans 15 8. Now I say that Jesus Christ, that's who we're dealing with today, folks, on this timeline, the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul says, now... I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision. Can you see the line there on the chart? Circumcision and uncircumcision. What does the Bible say? Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Go back to the Abrahamic covenant that we did those days ago on this timeline and revise that because that is very important to get. Okay, Jesus Christ didn't come for the Gentiles. Now don't get me wrong too. The Gentiles have always been a part of God's plan. If Israel did what they were meant to, if they, if they, if they, were, if they became who they were meant to be, uh, things would have been different for them, but they didn't. They were rebellious. And uh, the, the Gentiles, to get the blessings, had to go through Israel. Okay, So God, God's always had them in mind. But on this Bible timeline, when the Lord Jesus Christ had his earthly ministry, it was for the house of Israel. How do we know that? Well, looking at the chart and understanding time past, but now in the ages to come, we know it that way. But also, if you turn to Matthew 10, uh, read, uh, read chapter 10, verse 5 and 6. Go over to Matthew 15, verse 21 to 28. Look at verse 24 in particular, and you will see what the Lord Jesus Christ said. And it's in black and white. You cannot maneuver around it. It's, a, it's there on the pages in your Bible. So, um, today might not be the friendliest message you've ever heard, but it needs to be said. Jesus Christ's earthly ministry was for Israel only. Tough one, isn't it? Anyway, if you've got something to say about that, <laughs> just email me at dailytimothytime at gmail.com. Anyway, have a fantastic day. We'll meet again tomorrow. Till then, Maranatha.